Hi YouTubers, Jim's back with you again. Uh, been getting a lot of uh, discussion about uh, the mods that I've done and I've been on YouTube looking at a lot of mods that everybody else has done and they really look neat. And uh, one of the things that I, I think needs to be stressed is when you start doing all these mods, uh, this little boat real quick stops being a put it in the back of your pickup truck and, and go to the lake boat. Uh, it gets so heavy that, uh, you know, two men and a gorilla can't lift a thing. So, uh, for that, I'd like to do this little video to uh, just talk about the trailer that you're going to be putting your, uh, your Bass Raider on. Uh, I see a lot of folks out there that are, are using little utility trailers. And uh, while the boat rides on it just fine, uh, there's some drawbacks to that that you probably want to be aware of before you go out and buy a utility trailer. Uh, for one, you're carrying around a lot more weight than you need to. Uh, utility trailers are, are real heavy trailers and most of them are very short. Uh, this, this creates a problem when you're trying to back it down a boat ramp and get the boat in deep enough water to launch it or if you're in a small pond, uh, you have to back your truck almost right to the water and get your wheels in the water, which could be precarious. Uh, so my advice is to get you a good either a jet ski trailer or a kayak trailer or just some small galvanized boat trailer and go from there. Uh, I know a lot of guys, including myself, don't like the length of boat trailers. So, but there's a there's a fix to that. And that's just a hinge. I took three foot of length off my tongue and uh, folded it back. And uh, now I'm at 12 foot total length between the back of the motor and the front of the, the trailer there. So it's only 12 foot space that I'm now occupying. But when I go to back the trailer down, I've got three more foot of clearance between the rear tires of my truck and the lake and it gets my my boat trailer far enough into the water to where when I recover it uh, I can almost drive it right up on the trailer uh, with the outboard and uh, not have to worry too much about getting my feet wet and I just come right over the uh, the front of the boat and hop down on the trailer and winch it up and you know without getting my feet wet I'm, I'm gone you know but uh, that's, that's kind of what I want to make this about is uh, be careful about the, the, the trailer that you get. Ideally, you're going to want an aluminum trailer because it's the lightest trailer out there. Be it a kayak trailer or uh, a small boat trailer or a jet ski trailer. If you can get an aluminum one, that's going to serve you the best. Uh, this one is galvanized. I just got a great deal on it, so I really couldn't pass it up. Uh, the only thing I had to add to it was the swing away, the Fulton swing away hinge. And uh, it is almost, you know, without uh, getting too many more options, it had all the options I needed on it. I just had to modify the bunks. So uh, think about that when you're, you're starting to do your mods and you're, you're looking for a trailer to, to put your boat on. Uh, stick with a boat trailer. You know, they've got the, the hubs that are made to go into the water, the lights that are made to go in the water. And uh, and they're long enough where you don't have to you don't have to get so close to the lake with your your vehicle to get your boat in the water. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Talk to you later.